<clears throat> excuse me. Uh, usually, get steel goes for exploration. So that's another reason to kind of like go for Castile early game instead of doing what we did and and uh, allying them. Is you can basically force Castile into not really being able to do anything in the uh, in the uh, colonization game, uh, which would be really good for us. Right, we need to explore. Um. Let me check missions. Uh, what do the missions tell us? Just to have a colony here. Then we could go... The Caribbean. Uh, we could go... What is this? Get an explorer. No, this is the rewards, right? Yeah. Uh, we need to complete... We want to own at least a full colonized province in the Guinea region. It should be somewhere around here. Or go westward and discover any province in the Brazil region and own a fully colonized province in the Brazil region. I actually don't know if I want to go for Brazil. Here's the thing I know for a matter of fact that if you colonize the Caribbean, you can send a, a lot of money uh, through to the civilian uh, trade node and then we're collecting really well there and we could collect even more um so i know that that's kind of powerful so i could do that uh but or we could go more i mean our first colony is never going to be in the caribbean though because we just don't have the range for that um so that, that that's another you know kind of thing uh i think we just we'll, we'll just go slowly Instead of going straight for the Caribbean in the exploration, let's just do... Let's just do... Let's just do Atlantic South America. I think that's fine. Mouse, there you go. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll probably go... I don't know. We'll see. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We don't even have a colonist yet. So, there's that. We're, we are, we're already thinking way far ahead. Wait, or way too much. Uh, far ahead. Okay, uh, we're gonna get a revolt here soon. Let's get these uh, cavalry um, uh, regiments going. <clears throat> okay, king's reputation, reputation tarnished. Uh, some sort of propaganda text is circulating in the court about our phones of the ruthless power monger. Uh, this might affect our relations with our subjects in other countries. Embrace the reputation. Or execute someone for this. So, stab. I don't really want to lose. 100 Diplo power is... Ugh. It's not good. Because Diplo is very important for us now with the idea groups. But stability, though. Stability is tough. Stability is tough. How much would it cost to get a stab uh, point? 162. I mean, it would take almost a year to get the this 100 uh, Diplo power back. Almost a year. But the, I, I can't take the stability hit. The stability is... It, it, it would just ruin everything. So no. We can't do that. We just can't. Okay. Scoring is going fine. Uh, we're almost done, actually. That's good. Uh, the rebels will rise here in Morocco soon. So let's get our boys into Fez. Uh, which is where they probably will pop up, I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll do that. Can still as embrace the Renaissance, too. There's still Admin Tech 3, though, which is really good for us. Probably England will get to. Oh my God! Look at this leader, six three five. Yeah, they'll like they'll get to level to uh, tech five admin really quickly. Then uh, it shouldn't take long. Okay, let's grab these uh, cavalry units. Send them there. Uh, let's get a couple more. Oh, we can only get one because of manpower. I uh, let's get some more infantry going. <laughs> Okay, money-wise, 
yeah, the income has gone down a little bit because we're just spending more money on army maintenance uh, from getting more troops. Uh, makes sense. I think the trade also went down a little bit, to be honest. The trade income might have been might have gone down a little bit, but that's okay. Not much, not much. Uh, should we go for the coast immediately? Let's do that, yeah. I'm still kind of, like, torn... Uh, or or undecided in terms of what uh, we want to do in terms of the colonization game and like where we're going to focus first. Well, that's not good. I don't want to take attrition. That was like attrition. What's the what's the problem? It's only. So plan limit is actually, is actually fairly low. I thought it would be a little bit higher than that. I know it's low, but I mean, Jesus. 15, really only? Okay. Yeah, the um, these rebels should rise here quickly or uh, soon. So we'll, we'll deal with those. Hopefully they don't, no, no they, they shouldn't rise in Soto. That doesn't make sense for them to do that. Um. Well, let's just keep going. When can we uh, seize lands again? In 63, so we're actually close. Uh, the nobility does not have enough influence for us to do that, though. So we're gonna have to probably wait. I don't think that until 63, the nobility loyalty will be at like 50, which is what we need, minimum. Uh, so yeah. yeah, there you go. Sorry, exploring is actually kind of quick, though. That's pretty good for us. Uh, right. Let's see. Oh, let's do Caribbean. Here's thing, like, for example, um, as we get coring uh, completed, which is really good for us. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, in the New World, uh, the Caribbean and Mexico, they're both really powerful uh, in terms of trade nodes. Uh, because the Caribbean, because they like Mexico, the Mexican trade node just has a lot of a trade uh, value, and the Caribbean one you can had a lot of trade value in it, and uh, you can then just, like I said, send it to Sevilla, which would be really good for us. Now, we'd want even more trade uh, power in Sevilla to benefit the maximum from um from sending it here but yeah well the first colonies cannot be you know our first I, i'm not sure i'm not sure if we're gonna go for tenerife uh that's the question i have i might not here's the thing i want to try if possible to lock Castile out of making or of getting colonization done early, um, but I think that Tenerife and uh, Gran Canaria, the difference in the range they'd have would be almost nothing. So I might go Cape Verde and Arguin, even though Arguin is not really good. I know that, but just to kind of lock them out in the early game from exploring or uh, expanding or or and colonizing uh, any further lands uh so that's what we might do uh we'll leave tenerife for uh castillo though so they can have some fun i guess <coughs> excuse me as we do get the <clears throat> i get the core on fez uh which is very good i might say some cash now <laughs> Because uh, I know that getting two colonies... Do you want ducats? Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll do that. It's only 20 ducats and I'll get some favors. So I wouldn't mind that. Um, our truce granada has expired, but we can't really do that, anything about that. We can make an estate. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know what? Let's do it. And then we'll have to core that that's fine we have the uh admin for that so we'll do it one of our advisors has died oh it's the um 
This guy too. The morale of armies guy. Um, land force limit modifier. You know what? Hmm, interesting. This is a decision. I might go for the land force limit uh, modifier guy here. Because I don't think I'm gonna be going to war anytime soon. But getting more men or, or, or being able to get more uh, regiments would be good. Because we kind of need a couple of regiments to help out in the colonization game when we go that way. So I want to do that. I think this guy's going to be a bit better for us, actually. Be good. Um, I was talking about... Oh, I do want to save money. Because I, I, I was talking about this kind of evil plan to not allow the... Spanish or the Castilians to get any land, right? Well, if that's the case, we need to get these two colonies going at the same time, which is kind of expensive. Um, we're making good money, uh, but it, it would be kind of expensive, especially because we need to have some uh, troops in Arguin as well, so we, we can't like just lower the army maintenance, because we need troops in Arguin in case the rebels or the uh, natives revolt. So, yeah. Let's unpause though, I don't know why it's paused there. Uh, ooh. Uh, great expectations. <clears throat> a political marriage is as much a union as it is a contract of mutual support. The De Mello family expects that the king will uh, eat the advice of the queen concert and actively look after their or his interests. Uh, anything for our dear queen concert, or sorry, for, sorry, no special favors. So we would pay off some of the De Mello debt, which would be 51 ducats, which we don't have. Uh, I don't, do I want to take a, you know what, I think this is going to be a, ah, I'll have to take a loan. But I don't really want to lose a prestige. Or the autonomy. I think losing the autonomy in Porto would be worse. Which we actually need to lower anyways. Is it lowering by itself? No, it's actually uh, increasing. Hmm. Is autonomy increasing everywhere? Yes. Because we don't have enough crown lands. Yeah, we need to... Yeah, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, that makes sense. I just kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Uh, we'll, pay, we'll be able to pay this loan fairly quickly, though, so it's going to be okay. Did we... Ooh. Uh, actually, yeah, no, no, it's against Granada. You don't even need help for that, so... I don't think. Where are you at war with? Oh, two guard. Well, if they come across us, we'll just defeat them, but that should be okay. You shouldn't need help in that war. Uh, so, yeah. We're gonna be fine. Where's our explorers? Oh, there they are. Oh, they went this way. Okay. Uh, let's recall a diplomat from France. Can we get that uh, alliance? No. You have still way too many diplo relations. <sighs> okay, uh, where are your diplo relations? I forgot how to check that. Oh, uh, hold on. It's all, yeah, it's all the vassals that he has. He's uh, annexing uh, Armengak, though, so we should be able to get, maybe, uh, get them there. As long as Remember, how do you check their... I don't remember how you check their uh, diplomatic relations, but whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's gonna be okay. We still wanna... Okay, we can't, yeah, we can't even revoke marriage. Because the royal marriage would also help for the alliance. But it's a Diplo uh, relations. If they didn't have as many, we could get the uh, alliance done. So we'll be a bit patient and we'll go for that. Okay, no level five yet. And you just got level four uh, admin. <clears throat> okay. 
Let us keep going. Oh, don't attrition me, though. Come on, uh, Castillo. Asshole. Giving attrition to my troops. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if we should uh, provoke this revolt or not. Oh, we can't because we're in a war. Never mind then. We're not even going to help out, but we are in a war, technically. So. There's that. We'll have to be patient. Do -do -do. Okay, so the carabine is basically exploded. There we go, Fez. There you go. There come the uh, the rebels, but we're gonna be dealing with them fairly easily. There you go. That was as easy as that could go, to be honest. All right. Okay, there you go. Caribbean Sea is done. Uh, let's explore the coast of that now, please. That's still terra incognita. I can't check it. Ah, uh, I think I don't know. Yeah, it's the the, the big question is kind of like, do we want to go like more historical and focus on Brazil? and uh, African getting to India? Or do we want to say, basically, fuck that, and do whatever the fuck we want, which I think is what we're actually gonna do. Uh, <laughs> and uh, pr probably go for uh, the Caribbean fairly quickly, uh, which we might do. We'll see, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, right now we don't even have a first colonist yet. We're close, we are close. So there's that. Do, do, do. Yeah, and now Castile should end this war fairly quickly, and we shouldn't have to do anything. Uh, which, thank you very much for that. Ooh, warriors do not read books. So for uh, like five years, we get admin tech cost plus 10 and diplo tech cost plus 10. Well, the good news is that we already got those techs. Uh, so that's not that bad. If it was the, the mil tech, that would be worse. Because uh, we actually need to get uh, mil tech 4, which is oh, 5, which is uh, kind of an important one in the early game. How much is this? Uh, still 98 ducats to pay the loan. Okay. Hmm. I cannot do that during war. I, I need to think about uh, upgrading this um, the, the center of trade because that would also help out in, in my trade power and stuff. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, we could also save some money by not building the forts if we need to when we go uh, in the colonizing part. Right, so the Caribbean is done. There's a lot of good land here. Oh, they didn't even... They didn't do Havana and stuff and Cuba. They didn't do those islands. Uh, well... <clears throat> Can you please go for the North Atlantic then? I don't know, I might have to just... Yeah, that's kind of weird. Let's... <laughs> I kind of want to... Because I know that Avan is pretty good. And I think it has a... Um, a great project as well. Which is not too bad. So yeah. These are the benefits of already kind of... Doing a little bit of the exploring and a little bit of the uh, colonization game on my own. But... Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not. I I mean, I'm not really good at it. Anyways, I don't really know everything. Anyways, I'm I I am still a noob at art. Uh, so yeah. I think we'll be able to repay the loan. There we go, and the war is done. We repay the loan, so no more interests. Uh, which is good. Uh, when is the state thing? Oh, we need we can do it already we just need to be at peace the nobility um, loyalty is not where we need it to be yet so that's we could summon the diet 
Yeah, let's summon their diet, get that influence uh, or their loyalty up. You want a castle in 10 years? Mm -mm, nope. A church in Porto? Or 60%, 65% or more trade power in uh, the streets of Gibraltar? Well, these are all. I mean, <clears throat> how long do I have to do this? 20 years. Well, I expect in 20 years to have a lot more trade power than I have right now, actually. So, that doesn't seem too bad. I mean, the church in... The castle in, in 10 years, just no. Why would I do that? I don't need I don't need to do that. It's actually called Tanger now, which is like the Portuguese name for 10 years, but yeah. Um, I have the fort in Fez. I have no need to get a fort in Tanger. Um, none at all. None at all. Porto has seven base tax, so a church here wouldn't be too bad, right? Let's see, how much would I get from that? Uh, building church. 0.18. That's decent, but yeah. In terms of trade power here, we're at 40%. 65% is pretty big. It's it's huge. It's a lot. But 20 years from now, we'd, we're probably going to have at least these two from um, these two provinces from Morocco, which definitely would help. Um, and we just have more ships. And maybe uh, we, we would have gone to war with Castile by then. So I think this is the one that... It, it, we won't be able to complete it immediately uh, as much as I would like that. But it's going to be the one that's closest to completion for us. So we're going to have to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Alright. Isn't that truce in 68? 68. It's kind of just right around the corner, to be honest. And the war is not over. They actually only pieced out uh, two guard. Now they're going to get, yeah, Granada. There you go. So they they have uh, completely uh, annexed. Or not annexed, but they have uh, completely... Um, yeah, annexed, I guess. Basically, Granada does not exist anymore. That's... That's what, I'm, what I meant to say. Alright. Now we're going to explore the American East Coast. And hopefully we can get this uh, little bit of rest of information that we want to get. As we can get our first colonist. Okay, now this is huge. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get beyond Cape Bougedor. So we can get the Settler Chance plus 20% for 20 or 15 years and the Prestige. It's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and now we're going to think about what... Oh, we need to set a trade... Um, not trade policy. A native policy as well. Which... I think the repression is the best from what I've heard. I've heard that native repression is, is the best thing to go for. Global side increase plus 20%. So, in there, instead of 40, it's like, what, 60? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. So, do we leave Tenerife alone? I think we do. I think we skip Tenerife, and we go for Arguin and um, Cape Verde. Is the, 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 no, the difference between these wouldn't be huge the from the, the trade distance wise. Okay, let's go for uh, I think Cape Verde first is fine uh, because I still need to get some to, to do our green. I still need to get troops in there, which is not that hard to do to be honest. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, estate uh, situated rights. Yeah, no, this is this comes from the fact uh, that we have low crown lands, uh, but no, we'll solve this ourselves. It will take some time. Uh, but we will solve that uh, on our own. We don't need help for that. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get, uh, I think, five regiments. It's probably going to be fine. Uh, let's attach them to our transports. Uh, let's actually 
Let's actually like just take the five transports we need. Okay. I think that's for the best, and then we'll get a we'll get those guys up uh, down there. We'll see. I think we'll be able to run the two colonies. It's gonna be kind of hard on us on 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 the economy, but uh, I think we'll be we'll be okay. If I remember correctly, the first colony is like two a month, and the second one is I think four. Or or two at the same time, it's four. So if it if that said, and all we'll have to do honestly is do. Oh, the American East Coast give us like nothing. They give us the Bermudas, but yeah. Um. guys in here uh what was i saying oh uh if it's four we'll just um mudball or forts and we'll be okay seems good that seems fine that seems really fine a really good we can uh oh, we can get our first ability as well which is the portuguese colonial growth for 50 percent more uh, global settler increase really powerful really really powerful if I take a look at the settler now settler increase global settler increase is at 110 110 that's crazy that is absolutely bonkers you know what I'm also thinking about I'm thinking about getting a step lab step level one yeah I think that's okay. We're gonna have to wait a couple of uh, days, and by a couple, I mean like almost a month, for uh, our colonists to get here. And uh, that's not good for our army, but uh, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, the attrition. Ooh. Ah, damn, losing the stupid. Losing the stupid uh, Diplo power is so bad. We uh, those we, we really we really really don't want those events. They really 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 suck. To be honest. Okay. Is it six instead of four? Oh, it is six. Ooh. Okay. So that that's not very good. Uh. Okay. Let's mod all the forts. And what else can we do? What else can we do to get some uh, more money? Ah! Oh. I, I think there's like really nothing, we'll just have to run at a loss for a little bit. Uh, one thing I could do is I could trade some favors for money. Well, not you because you don't have money. And not you because you don't have money. <laughs> uh, but yeah. You still have way too many Diplo relations. Oh, you're still uh, an annexing um, or these guys. I don't even know how to say that their name. My French is uh, basically non-existent, I'll be honest. Uh, the reinforcements probably do not help here as well. They do not. Uh, we'll, we'll still be running at a loss when we get the uh, the reinforcements here, though. Yeah, point six. Hmm. I mean, we could always just drop the colonial maintenance a little bit. I mean, we could instead of running it at full strength. Uh, that is an option, right? But I think I think we're I think we're okay. Even if we had to take a loan, whatever. Native rising in uh, Arguin. Not the best. Oh yeah. See, look at this. We're already uh, with without a um, without a mission. 
to to explore uh that um that that flagship really is amazing because it allows you to do this so much quicker uh yeah but there's no way we can build it now mm -hmm. nope oh being over force limit here is also not good let me drop a cog don't need it so i'll just disband it <clears throat> i think that is going to help a little bit yeah that also helps a little bit uh nope it's such worry right so we don't want to do those I'm just waiting for the uh nobility to have 50 percent loyalty and then we'll uh take land again that's what we want yeah, yeah, maintenance is gonna be high for a little bit. Oh, we need, well, we get uh, men back. Should be a couple of months. Oof. We can get a uh, tech level five. Yes, please. Um, we have a new infantry type. We're gonna go for longbows. I think those are the best from what I remember. <clears throat> mm -mm. 